happy Valentine's Day, everyone. It continues to be cold and snowy here. Um, it is, I think, 8 degrees, maybe lower. We're supposed to get down to minus 7 tonight. Very uncharacteristic for Oklahoma, and we have a lot more snow coming. So I'm thinking about some gardening projects, and I want to share this one with you today. And while I'm not going to do the exact how-to, I'm going to do that in the future. Um, part of my motivation in not doing it right now is because there is a foot of snow outside and I don't want to go out into it to get what I need, but also because I thought it would be really fun for you guys to do this project along with me. And the project is creating a box garden, a tabletop box garden. And I'm going to put links below to everything that you'll need with the exception of maybe the containers. You may already have some of these boxes in your home or attic, or you can find them at junk stores, um, secondhand stores, or you can use something similar. Um, for example, I you could use some cartons or crates, anything that has a boxy appeal to it and then we're gonna grow little mini gardens in them. This is something that I have done before, I haven't done for a while, but as I was getting out this box, I've showed you this, this dark comp compartmentalized wooden box that I've shown in a, a couple of recent videos, I thought it would be fun to do some different versions. And so I went around the house and excavated different wooden boxes that I had, and then happily, and serendipitously, as I was going through some old magazines, I came across this, an old Martha Stewart magazine that had box gardens in them. So that seemed confirmation from the universe that this is something that we might all wanna to tackle together. Again, I'm gonna put links below to everything you'll need some seed suggestions, a soilless potting mix, and um, like I say, you can just be creative in what you want to use for a container. Now a lot of these, some of these actually you may have seen yesterday in my office, this is a very fun one. I keep just paper goods in it. But you can see it's already got an illustration on it. This was gifted to me by my friend Deborah, and it was filled with vegetable enamel or um, vegetable en engraved, embroidered rather tea towels in it, and it was perfect for me because it said La Potage. So I used this one for. Oh, keeping stationary and things. But then I have a number of different other ones. This one came with some Christmas ornaments in it. It's got wood shavings in it. Um, this one here is fun. I don't even remember what came in it, but it says made in Texas. And this other one, and most of these have sliding tops, you guys. This one came with an assortment of olive oils and things in a Christmas gift that I got a number of years ago. But I thought it would be fun to plant some little gardens in these. So what we're going to need is just a black plastic trash bag or something that we can staple to the interior. Again, I'll do the real how-to in a few weeks, but this way we can do it together and you guys will have time to assemble what you need. And by then, there will be more plant material that's available in the way of fern and little forced bulbs and things of that nature so that we can come up with our own original compositions. So uh, what I'd like to do is just create little mini lawns, particularly in the square ones, and that's very easy to do. I've done it many, many times, primarily when I grow living Easter baskets for my boys when they were when they were little, and that's creating just a little perennial rye grass lawn. And I've put the seed, a seed source below, along with another source that I'm going to try of kind of a, a, an aggregate of different types of clover seed, fennec seed, um, some different herbal seeds that I think will be kind of fun and I'm anxious to see what kind of effect it will create. Now you may be saying, oh, but I don't have a greenhouse. 
I don't have a lot of sun, it's still too cold. Well, I have found that I can grow this type of thing fairly easily. I can get it to germinate in a week to 10 days just by putting it in a bright windowsill. And again, we'll do this how-to together, but the seed and the soilless potting mix are some things that you're going to need. Now you could also use what you've got out in your own garden shed, your own garage. But in case you don't, then those are the sources. The other thing that I'm gonna do is plant some of them with some tiny bulbs. Now I used to force a lot of tiny bulbs myself and then they started being fairly easily and readily available at garden centers and places like Trader Joe's. So for example, I got this sweet container of grape hyacinths at Trader Joe's not too long ago. And then you can just tuck them so low in the containers, little uh, tiny daffodils, tete-a-tete -tete daffodils would work. Um, I'm thinking also some pretty cyclamen here. In this article, they tucked some great hyacinths into the perennial rye grass lawn. You could also use annual rye. But these are, are just fun ways to do little tablescapes. I'm using a soilless potting mix because it's not so heavy and these are, you know, these are short-term container gardens. They're not going to be long-term container gardens and will primarily be used as centerpieces and just for my own, for my own enjoyment. So longevity is not an issue in this. It would be fun also maybe to do some, oh, try some tiny little lettuces. Think kind of Lilliputian or diminutive tiny little things. Maybe some microgreens would be fun to try growing in here. Tiny little fern would be fun. It would be fun to fill these boxes with nothing but moss. You might even, if you have some woodland property um, nearby, you might find some little tiny things that you could excavate and replant. So let your imagination kind of go crazy. I just think it would be very fun. Anything ferny. If you're going to plant tulips or something, you might want a container that's a little bit deeper. But I plan on having more of a low horizontal profile to mine. So I'm going to be doing mostly just greens, grasses, clovers, things of that nature, maybe tiny little ferns. And if I can ever get out again, and if, if, if Stuart can get out again, we might go on a shopping expedition together. So this is our project, you guys. Let's try it all together, and then I'm going to provide some kind of form where we can all share our own creations and you can show me what you did and inspire me in reverse. So please comment below if you think this is a fun idea for us to tackle together. Be looking for your containers. Let me know what you find. Again, <laughs> think outside the box in terms of whatever, whatever kind of square vessel you can find that would give the illusion and, and the idea of kind of small tabletop lawns, tabletop gardens. And then I want to show you one other thing that I did that was kind of fun. Not too long ago, I pointed out to you that I had used these hollowed out tree trunks as vases and I had some forced forsythia branches in them and it was really pretty, but then they died. So because they have holes in them and they have gaps in them, I thought it would be fun to turn them into organic uh, lanterns. And so I tucked some battery operated candles in there and I'll put a link to those below. They're indispensable to me this time of year. And then I just captured a few pine cones and put them on there. It's very hygge. It's very organic. And a place to look for candidates to make these kind of hollowed out lanterns or use as a vase um, would be your wood pile. If you have a wood burning fireplace or you know someone who does, 
than just be on the hunt. And it's one of those kinds of things that you, you may not have thought to look for, but now you know to look for. Even this summer, you might find some candidates when you're out hiking. Or like me, you might have storm damage that creates some, some opportunities to find them. So on this very cold day, light some candles, light some lanterns, get your huga on. If you're lucky enough to have a fireplace, and I consider myself so lucky, we have burned it pretty much nonstop this past week. Then light a fire, grab your throw, and start dreaming about gardening projects that we'll be able to do this spring when the snow melts and when it warms up again. And be thinking about fun ideas like tabletop box gardens. If you guys have ideas on inspiration of what you're going to plant in yours, please let me know. And we will spot inspire one another. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys.